Hello everyone and welcome back to Comson Farm here. We are in June now and what I've gone and done is I've bought some more poplar pallets. I have solved the pallet issue, that's why the money's gone up by quite a bit because I initially sold every pallet that we've got so so if we go and have a look, so go to the bakery. Nothing's there at the moment. I think the only pallets we've got at the moment left is at the dairy, I think, right? Nope, we've got no pallets here yet. I thought we did have some pallets of chocolate and that, but I guess I'm wrong. But yeah, all we do have left over is still more cereal pallets. These are spawning rapidly and these are a very good money maker as well. Also we've got the contract on field 30 to finish off. We are running out of milk in the dairy so we need to definitely put some more milk in there at some point. We'll say you, stop you. How's our sugar doing? Sorry to run the own sugar beets. Not to worry. You're doing good there, all good. Our carpentry business is still underway. I'll go down here and have a look. How's our tail shop doing? Got some more packs of clothes. But yeah, our sort of main money maker at the moment is definitely the cereal. Didn't realise until I sold them like how much we get because we are getting what 240 cycles per month we get 100 litres of cereal ah that's one thing we do need is chocolate so that should be fine for now so what's that 2000 yeah 2400 litres of cereal we're making a month so yeah we need to up the chocolate production. Let's see, I'm just having a look at the production chains now. Is there any production chain that we use to make chocolate apart from the normal dairy? Let's have a look. Let's see what modern ones I've got here. Got a donut factory. Oh, maybe that squares eggs, sugar, and flour. Google that at some point, but I don't think there's anything else that we use to make cho chocolate at the moment. So have a look. And that's the pad storage, which we will use at some point, because yeah, the whole pad situation ain't ideal for us. Now, can we get chocolate from the Farm production barns. Uh, no, we cannot. Sorry, we could have made chocolate, but I guess I'm wrong. What I may do, may have a look at some mods ones, see if there are any mods in that. But yeah. But yeah, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get this all done off camera. Obviously, something is already growing in the first growth state, so yeah, it's going to be a bit of a ways out, but. So yeah, if we hop into the case, not that case, I should get the worth run away with you. How's that working? Oh, I'm not too sure, but but yeah, we'll get into the case and we'll get the worth run away because I want this properly planted. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish this off off camera. And also I'm going to have a look in the mod hub, see if there's any modded versions, any modded factories that we use to make chocolate. Because I'm pretty sure there should be one. Unless I'm mistaken, I'm thinking of something completely different, which could be a possibility, but yeah. I'll get this all done, and I'll see you folks in a short while. And there we go, that is most of the poplars being planted, and yeah, I think, not sure... <laughs> it's just all mess up. I think it, this is how it should be like one space apart. So it'll be interesting to see how things grow in that. 
But yeah, I didn't buy any more pallets just because it was taking a bit of time. So we're going to leave this as it is. Obviously, some things going to be one month behind the other, so we're just going to have to wait until they're all ready to harvest. But yeah, so we'll get the forest harvester for that at some point. Also, we're up to 930 grand. And what we're going to do is if we hop over to. Nope. Not you. The contract is pretty much done. So we sell the rest of this party, and whatever we can keep, we are going to sell as well. Because we really don't really need any party in that for anything at the moment. So. If we go and. Where is the contract? There we go. So that is 990 grand we're sitting on now. And I think one thing we actually need to do is get the TMR for the cows. So I think they're running out of TMR. Yep, so we'll go and do that. But also, I'll be thinking about where we could plant trees. And I'm thinking we've got access to this area here behind the shop. This is all we can access, so. I'm thinking this we might as well do that. Plant some trees and that. Because they're going to take about 27 months, 24 to 29 months to grow. So it's not too bad to wait. And I'm trying to. F Where's the other case to? There we go. So yeah, we'll take this to the shop and we'll get some trees and that planted. Also, I'll try to look at mods for chocolate production. There ain't really many out there, like besides from other dairies and that. Also, we've still got the sugar cane planter. We'll do that in the next episode, because I'll try to keep these episodes relatively short in that, or in theory, relatively short. So, if we go and have a look at some tree saplings. So yeah, it's got spruce, pine, stone pine, birch, oak, willow, maple, pagoda, dogwood, shambuck hickory, American elm, cypress, dinosaur tree. Actually, what trees is it best to grow? Because I want trees that grow straight and normal, so and easy to trim. Because like, these trees here, if we turn on. Field info. Well, it usually tells you what trees these are, but I'm gonna do some quick research here. I want to find out what's the best trees to grow. So, nice straight trees, easy to harvest, not mess around with devouring or anything like that. So, yeah, uh, look at some clips and that, and have a little look here. All right, so did some research and. Seems to be the best trees to grow for particularly forestry is spruce, pine, stone pine, and shagbark hickory. Actually, not shagbark hickory. Um, there's some. Yeah, I think the main trees are like spruce and pines and that. They take 24 months to grow, all in with not seasons enabled. Yeah, I could plant other trees like American elm. I think I've been told like America Elm. You get more litres of wood like per was it like, like per month I think someone did research on it, something like that. So basically like, American Elm is a good tree to use if you're willing to do all the intensive manual work. However, I was wanting to kill. Yeah, I was wanted to plant some trees, let them grow and then get a tree harvest around. It seems to be that like, spruce and pine seems to be the way to go. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll plant some spruce trees, I think. Will it take some time to grow? Yes, now. And I think I went to put the work in. But yeah, we're sprucing things along, I think. <laughs> For all in that, they're ready to harvest tomorrow in July, I think. And in August, our grapes should be ready. But yeah, also, we now are over a million. We just got 33 grand 
in the last in-game hour, so if all the things were set in, that ain't too bad, so I think, yeah, we'll just go and get some um, spruces and go ahead and plant them. So we'll go to here to shop. So we'll go to pallets. Uh, do I have the demodded tree saplings enabled? I'm not too sure. But that's this full pallet version, but. Oh, I've got so many different pallet mods. There we go. So we want. Yeah, do we want a pallet? Yeah, let's go with 120 tree samplings. Spruce 1 or Spruce 2? Not sure what the difference is. Let's go with that. Okay, that saves us on pallets now, so... There we go, well, 120 tree saplings. And that's the thing, we can always diversify where we plant them, we can plant a lot of them here. And we can plant some <coughs> on different parts of the map as well, so... All in all, I think it should be really worth our while. Again, really depends on, like, like the roof width or the planting width and that of these trees, so... So I'm thinking starting on, like, the f thing... Yeah, start here, I think. Planting down every so often, so one, two, three. Well, I'll press on a good spot. But yeah, sort of like other areas we could plant it potentially, like field 34 potentially, or something like buy this plot 36 and 50, 50 grand to buy. Relatively flat ish, so could plant some there. I think we could plant some in the not so secret meadow. But yeah, I was going to continue on this, see how they do. And I think we'll go from there, I think. So yeah, I think it's a good time for a little time lapse. And there'll be a lot of trees planted, so I'm going to get this all done. And I'll see you folks in a short while.
we can go. So we've planted a lot of trees. To be exact, we've planted 480 trees so far, and 455 of those was in this little area over here, and I may have messed up on some of these basins. Like, this could be a proper thick, dense forest by the time they grow in two years' time. Because spruce trees, see, you've got three growth states at eight month interval, so eight is first growth state. Then 16, then it's 24 months, so this is going to be a proper thick, dense forest. And the other trees, I did go ahead and plant some along this little path here by fields 5 and 7. And that's the thing also, we need to get back into proper farming, because since we've had precision farming in April, we haven't done much farming. Obviously, what we need to do at some point is get fields 5 mulched. Yeah, these get mulch, and then we'll plant that with the sugar beet, and that's going to take forever to do. Because sugar beet is only, what, two meter working width, so... I think that's going to be a proper pain to deal, but... Just imagine all the sugar beet came with the get folks, so... I think he will take this ass palette here. So I want to hit that 500 tree mark. A nice title for the video, we've planted 500 trees. Especially when compared to how much we've cut down in this series. How do we much login? Yeah, we've cut down 37 trees and planted 480, so I think we're all in the good there. So we'll go and take this to the main farm. I think we could plant some around the farm now. I think we own this tree planter, so we we'll always leave the trees in here for now. Or actually... Oops. If I don't mess up my turn in. We could plant some trees here, but... I think actually it would be quite nice, have a nice day vineyard with some trees in that. Obviously not all of them will be cut down, of course, but... Like here, potentially. We just have a few trees planted, so let's go and do those. All my needs to services and we fill it. As you're running low fuel and this vehicle's quite worn. So what's in the use market? Nothing special. Just some class stuff. Yeah, just plants a few trees. I should look very nice, I think. Potentially. I think will it look nice? Yeah, I think it will, especially when they all fully grown in that. So that's the first layer there. Second layer, quite close, perhaps. Something like that. Yeah. But yeah, so we'll go and finish that off in a different episode. Well, we'll finish off today, but in the next episode or two. So now, let's look at our animals. So, no cows are need TMR. Chickens are all good on grain at the moment. Pigs are doing okay on pig food. Sheep are doing okay on grass. They need some water at some point, but nothing to worry about. So we need to take this from here and we need to go all the way across to the top left part of the map, then back down to the middle and get some. Yeah, the top left to get the TMR and then back to the main farm. Of course they won't need all this TMR in one go, the rest of this we could always put in storage or something. But yeah, I'm sort of liking how this series is progressing, especially come back on to after I have a bit of a break from it. With doing the live streams and that, and yeah, no. In terms of the future of that space series, I've got an idea 
for my next Let's Play series in terms of what I want to do with it. It's not so much waiting for the map to come out because there's you know, a few maps ready that we could do it. Something like a let's raise a 10 million pound farm. Let's start with like 1 million, get a farm, and then oops, oopsie. I need to go up here actually. Yeah, let's start with let's say a million, million and a half, and then convert that one million to ten million. Something like normal economy, not use of any collectibles and that. But yeah, so at the moment with Adel Chauvin, we are on. Well, I've just recorded episode nine. Episode seven should have just gone out live this evening, so I should we'll cut across the field here. That no one noticed, but yeah, so something like the Western Wild would be a good map for it because I've been watching Miss CP's Let's Play series on it and it's all like start from scratch to take from it. But I'm more sort of doing that with survival roleplay on No Man's Land. Do something like on Frankenmove, but actually, there's so many maps that's come out lately like tons of tons of new maps, so. Yeah, there's our popular field over there. But yeah, it's just different maps we could do it on. Chances are, depending on when I get around to doing a another Let's Play series, at the moment, three is yeah, sort of steady going in that. Especially now where I'm going back to making like more daily content in that, or every other day at least. Like doing No Man's Land, doing Comston, doing Adel Chauvin. Oh yeah, there's a slide over here. Can we store the TMR now? Um, is it... I've got so many production plans. Is it here where we get the TMR? No, that's the loading. We need to unload, which is... No, unloading his by those two little silos. Come on. Yeah, you tell me what we got to do in the detailed <laughs> areas, so... There we go. We want TMR. Actually, is there a cell point for TMR? I know with Unshorts modding sell everything point there is, but... Prices, we'll go down here. It'll be interesting, actually, to see... Is there anything for TMR? Well, I don't think so. All these different cell points and that, but... I know there's the... what was it? Oh, there's a mod that came out like the Forge Deer, that's it. That lets you sell TMR, so... Actually, perhaps Schultz is... Won't take TMR. But yeah, because you've got so many different cell points now. Obviously, why if I want the map provides, but also the other cell points we've added in. But yeah, so if we go over here. We've got plenty of like slides are absolutely ran full with straw. We could do it, put some more in at some point. So yeah, looking at the ratios. Diesel potentially needs some more, but mm. actually, wait a minute. If I go, we did bought a trader a couple of episodes ago for pig foods. Where is that trader to? Because yeah, I bought a trader and we had it filled up with pig food. Trying to think, where did I leave that to? I did give it to the pigs. Actually, would it be under if we go to owned equipment? If we go to traders. It was this one here. Oh, it was on the main farm, apparently. 
Wait a minute, why did it reset? I did not... Did I reset this? Surely not. Actually, I'm gonna do. But yeah, try thinking, did I reset at any point? Pretty sure I didn't, but I could be wrong on that. Be free, case. Be free. But yeah, so what we need to do now is get the pig food situation sorted. Obviously, I'll go ahead and buy pig food again. It's not like we're short money or anything. But yeah, also at 1.1 mil, do we have enough to buy this field here? Yes, we do. But yeah, just looking at like, the different field prices. I should also look at the like, yield bonus in that. Have a nice... That's our 100%. Yeah, 107. Hundred and two. I think that's very good because it's mainly loan, but you know what? We got a nice grass field there. And if we go to position farming, 14 grand for the soil sampling. Uh, there we go. I wish I still have enough money to buy TMR now, but yeah, so. Let me go get everything all sorted and I'll bring folks back when we get the pig food sorted and when we get the TMR damage to the farm. So there we go, that is all the animals fed. We sort of did it quickly off camera, so pigs are top of the food, cows are top of the food, we need to clear out Surrey and they also need straw which we'll deal with at a later date. But I was thinking to round off the episode, we are low on money. 17 grand for the pig food, and 8 grand for the John Deere Big Bad Winch. So, yeah, we got some stuff here already, but also we need to get the cereal from down here. Because, how is the cereal doing? Yeah, that's just gone all crazy now, so... I think it just produces so much cereal at an incredible rate. Like, how much is it? Like, one, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen... And, yeah, we can't even produce any more pads. There's so we're hitting the limiter again. Like, this is what, what my issue is with the pad limiter. It's just... It's unrealistic in terms of with console players. They like, produce 75 pads on PlayStation. It's nothing. Yes, even though with this setup here and on this series, of course, a bit more extreme. That way. And we've got the other way. But yeah, so we'll see what... My gripe is also got a video coming up soon about this. Come on, can we? Oh, this is why I hate swivel axles. There we go, turn around. But yeah, anywho, won't dwell on that too much. So now I think it'd be a good opportunity to do a little time naps of getting all the last little pallets, get the wall pallets on here. And then we'll go ahead and get everything sold at the wholesale market. I think for the overall price for the overall products of eggs, honey, cereal and wool will be the best place perhaps. So yeah, we'll get all this done and then we'll round off the episode out.
so here yeah, that did not take too long and the tanker's in the way but yeah let's see how much money we can make from this oh look at mine shooting up So we went from 33 grand up to, so that's 100 and, wow, that's a lot of money there. And against these <laughs> damn swivel axles. Hate them for a reason. So you've got 8,000 years of zero left, so let's go and pick these up. But yet, the cereal production has run out of chocolate, so we need to think about getting more chocolate in at some point. No, nope, I don't want to lift the entire trailer. Why is it doing that? I just want to lift the pallets up. No. Around. Boop, boop. Let's just go and let's go and sh shove these over. There we go. Shove you over. Sh nope. So we definitely hit over 200k, I think. By the time we get all this salt. Because we were at 33 grand initially. Come on, get out of way. Two twenty-five. Can we hit two thirty-three? Nice, just about. So yeah, overall initially about two hundred grand we earned just from selling cereal, eggs, honey. Actually, I think there is a cotton bell still around here somewhere. Because the spinner is absolutely ran full. That's going to last a while. So, yeah, we'll go and sell the cotton bell here. Should get about 40 or so grand from this. Oh, yeah, I forgot what's got those clothes over there to do as well. Oops. I say it isn't con accepted here. So you get 41 grand plus another grand for environment score. And then lastly but not least is the clothes. Got 2,000 years worth of clothes. But yeah, that's what we say about this series about running out of money is not an issue because there's too much production chains that underway and just we diverse yeah diversified our income so much now in this series literally anything and everything we'll make money on and yeah all in all 307 grand or so we earned that ain't a too bad way to end the episode so yeah that's where we're gonna leave it today next time we'll be planting the sugar beets we'll see in june We'll get the mulcher out, mulch field 5, get the sugar beets planted. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Perhaps look at mowing our brand new grass fields at field 29. But yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it today. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you've lost your grandchild yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're going to have day. But for now, just before my next stream, and I'll see you all very soon.